Hey everybody, Quilt Marine here. So we're gonna go ahead and use our binding tool, okay? So I'm gonna try to do this in a way where it's not rocket science. You know, we don't like rocket science and we don't like to go by the rules. But this is one of the moments where you're gonna need to follow the rules just a little bit, okay? So what I did was when I started my bind, I left about 10 inches on a 10 inch tail on this side, all right? I went around and I finished with about approximately 10 inches on this side, another tail. But what, the important part is that I left in between this, this first stitch, the, well, the last stitch here, and my first stitch over here, 12 inches, all right? So in this space is, a, is, a, is about a foot, okay? Try to get as close as you can, all right? It's going to help lay out, lay flat your, your finished bind, all right? So here I have my binding tool. It's hard to see. Uh, it's a little hard. Let me let me let me lay this across. And I got this one from. Um, I think I got it from MSQ. I think Missouri Star Coat Company. Okay, I think I got it from them because I was looking for it. Jenny had a great video, and I wanted to get the tool because she taught such a great video. All right, so here we go. So, so from this side, what you're gonna do is, all right. Remember, we have 12 inches in between, right, and a 10 inch tail. So from this last stitch right here, the very last stitch, I'm gonna put my binding tool, all right? Now, on this binding tool is a line, okay? On the binding tool is a line over here on this end, and I'm just gonna mark where that line is, okay? I'm gonna open it up, and we're just gonna make that line go straight across. Okay, so we made our line, all right? So remember, vertical line to vertical line on this side, right? See that? And I'm just gonna cut. And the little dog here right there, gonna get that. And we have one side done, all right? Now, we're gonna go to this side. So when we do this side, remember we were like this. So all we're gonna do is, we're just gonna flip it around, all right? Just now we're gonna measure from this stitch, all right? We're gonna measure from this stitch, you can put it on top, it's all right, on top here. Same same thing, but remember we're upside down now, all right? This We just went this way, okay? Vertical line, remember the vertical line? And the last stitch, all right, we're gonna mark where the vertical line is. Let's get this out the way. Open it up. We're gonna finish off that line. Straight across, all right? All right, so unlike the last one, what we did was we went, we did our cut from here. We're not, we're gonna measure from here, all right? from that line. That's what we're going to cut. All right, so let's leave it open. Now, now from here is where we're going to cut, okay? Let's open that up a little bit. That line, and that is where we'll cut from. Let's lay this out. Yeah. Very nice and open. And that's our cut, all right? So, all right, so we have our two ends, right sides facing, okay? The thing that, that uh, I, I wanna pay attention to is these little flat ends, all right? The flat ends. We want our flat ends opposite, okay? Flat ends opposite, right sides facing. You're gonna put a little stitch in there, and pin this. Yeah. And we shall stitch here, okay? Try to keep it simple. It's kind of awkward. I'm standing, I'm not sitting. New digs. So be patient with me here. 
go to the machine. My brother, PQ, 1500SL, which I enjoy very, very much. All right. Quarter inch. Let's go back over and open it up here. I'll pull my pin out. I'll do another one though. All right, so the pin is out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to open it up here. And there we go. All right, binding tool use complete. All right, so this little mark out, it'll wash out. All right. And I'm not worried about it, but this is what, what you want. You want it to mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my stitch going across. And then I'll close the bind up. When I roll it over, that's what you'll see. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so the binding tool. Don't let it get you discombobulated. All right? It has gotten me that way. But it's easy to use if you pay attention. So... All right, so remember, all right, we'll just try to simplify this. So remember, you had this big old 10-inch tail, right? And you're 12 inches in between. And you go to the stitch, all right? On this side, on your right side, as you look at it, all you're going to do is mark it, mark from where the A is or where the beginning is, and you can cut that, okay? You can cut from there. It's safe because the, the binding tool is already cut. It's already measured in that in that angle all right i mean it was already pre-measured all right make sure you're at that back stitch all right you can mark it it's okay and then all you're going to do is cut all right then cut that little dog ear off all right and then remember all you're going to do all you're going to do is you're going to flip it over but don't overthink it all right don't flip too much okay so <laughs> All you want to do is go like this to the other side, all right? To the other pigtail that you left that was 10 inches long, remember? And you're going to pull that down. The thing that's different on this side, okay, on this side, remember you're going to the stitch line to where you stopped because what do we have? We have 12 inches in between, right? So you're going to go to the 12 inch to where that stitch line ended that point between your 12 inches, right? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark where, the, where that line, the vertical line is. The vertical line, remember? And then we're gonna back it up, all right? Also on this one, you can mark on the vertical line up here so it's easier. And you're just gonna back it up. That's the point in which you wanna cut. Okay, then you'll cut on that side. All right, let's get that dog ear out. Okay, we're simplifying it. All right, I want to ex really explain it so that you can get it. All right, so once it's cut, all right, then you're going to go to the machine. And you remember, you have to do right sides facing. So what, what, what I had a tendency to do when I didn't know what I was doing, I was... I'd have this side twisted the wrong way, and this side going the opposite way, and it came out looking crazy, all right? But remember, right side's facing when you go to the machine. So when you go to the machine and you do right side's facing, these ears should be in each other's corners. One right there, and one right there. And then when you stitch it, let's, no, I'm not gonna go stitch it, we're just gonna put a pin through here. And then when you stitch it, with those dog ears in each other's corners. You have to have make sure your measurements are good though, okay? 10 inches on each side and 12 inches in between. And the binding tool will do the rest. And once you stitch it and you bring it back, it'll it'll unfold for you like that. That'll be the stitch line. And then remember when you fold it in half, the rest is history, okay? I I, I wanted to ex really explain it so that you can understand what's going on with the binding tool. But it's really self-explanatory, and most of the ones that you get will have directions on them. But don't try to use the tool with the direction side facing, all right? The tool is made 
for you to move around and flip around, okay? It's made for you to use like this, in this direction, and then to roll it over in this direction. If you're trying to keep the directions facing you, you're gonna mess it up all the time, okay? So remember, this side facing, all right, we're gonna cut, all right, from the end, from the last stitch, and then we're gonna cut, all right? And then we're just gonna roll it over. Find our last stitch, okay? Mark where the vertical line is, and then back it up to that vertical line and do your cut, all right? And it'll match up every time, I promise. So, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, and remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.